Tension runs high at Munsan, the United Nations advance outpost for truce talks, as a giant helicopter stands by to fly a mission for first talks with the Reds. A white truce flag is taken along just in case. From Tokyo arrives the commander of the United Nations forces in Korea. General Ridgway is met by General Van Fleet, who meets the men who will represent the United Nations at the actual conference. Talks will be strictly limited to military matters, as the Reds are trying to bargain for political concessions. Admiral Burke, General Craigie, Korean General Pike, Admiral Joy, Chief of the Delegation, and General Hodges are wished Godspeed by General Ridgway. As they board their helicopter, the hopes of the free world accompany these men. Can they bring us peace with honor? It takes only a few minutes to fly across no man's land to Kaesong, the only city south of the 38th parallel not yet in United Nations hands. A large W marks the landing site. The Allied officers, unarmed in accordance with international law, step out. They are met by three Korean communists, one of them a girl. Allies and Reds sit down for the first tentative talks, while at the Imjin River, United Nations advance units wait at the ready in case of a double cross. And so the mission heads home after nearly four hours discussion. On their return, the mission members were mobbed by newsmen. They were excluded from the first talks. But from now on, the press will report on this moment of history. <laughs>